Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. Today we are going to take a look at how to get the three vampire bats. It's simple enough, it just takes a lot of, uh, let's say a lot of practice and a little patience. So there's three different bats, there's a juvenile vampire bat, there's the adult vampire bat, and there is the elder vampire bat. Before we take a look at those, where or where can we get those vampire bats? Let's take a look. So let us go to the House of Legends. So at the House of Legends, we'll see the NPCs for the uh, the Halloween seasonal. So we'll see our friend Phantom Stranger here, and uh, Tala over there. It's pretty much the same thing. So you see those little coffins over the on the wall. You have the, again the same coffins on the evil villain side. It will give you access to a mission called Bats in the Belfry. And basically, it's a it's a race that they've added to Arkham Island. Uh, and if you want to replay the race, you can see here it's 12 replay badges. I'm not sure I would replay it, but uh, once you do pick up the mission, then there's a nice little portal right over here that will bring you straight to the race. Not sure why our friend here is uh, trying to block the portal. Uh, it happens. And I guess you can probably get the mission from here as well. Yeah, there it is. So you decide either you go to the House of Legends, or you could go, you could come uh, straight here and get the mission from here. Doesn't really matter. Uh, one of the things that will happen is that uh, sometimes there's people will uh, gather over here, and uh, they'll summon their allies, they'll summon their pets, and they'll try to block the way for people who are trying to play the race. It's sad, but it happens. A uh, simple way to avoid that: play the race at uh, 5 a.m. Usually at that time, like you can see here, it's uh, it's almost uh, 7 to 30, and there, there's not that many players right now. But uh, sadly, during peak time, uh, there's quite a few players who either they will just stand in front of the, the start of the race to try to block the way to people, or they'll summon a whole bunch of pets and uh, try to do the same. It's sad, but that's how it is. So in order to be able to get the three bats, you have to get the platinum objective. There's no no way around it. Um, I forget if you get the first one, if you get the bronze or the silver. I have to admit, I got the silver on the first try, so I'm, I'm not sure exactly which actually gives you the, the the smaller one. But the gold bat will give the the gold uh, objective will give you uh, the adult bat, and the platinum objective will give you the elder bat. The platinum objective took a bit of practice to learn uh, where you can uh, accelerate and where you should uh, go a bit slower to make sure you don't miss out uh, the target. So once you do complete the race, you will get the three bats by mail. So you can see the juvenile vampire bat, so let's go like that. The adult vampire bat. And the elder vampire bat. It seems a bit overkill to give us the three bats, but uh, that's what they did. I guess better that, uh, better that than uh, no bats. So let us equip our three bats. So let us start with the juvenile bat. That's a cool, uh, it's a cool looking bat. And let's try the adult one. Now nah, we cannot switch directly. We have to change back to human, human form first. So let's switch it to the adult one. Not sure what the difference might be other than the colors maybe uh, I guess we can maybe change the colors of the bat let's see well, let's put the red blue and see what happens oh yeah so we can customize the color of our little bat so let us change back and let us switch to the elder bat So this one as well, we still need to, we still can uh, change the colors of the bat if we want to. And uh, they also have uh, an ability. So I guess this is the way you can uh, attack in bat form. And this one seems to have like, uh, I would say blood uh, dripping from it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so I would say it's probably just a cosmetic change, so the eyes of the uh, the adult bat are not glowing, and he doesn't seem to be dripping blood. I 
Even the juvenile bat seems to be color locked. So if you want to be able to transform it to a nice bat, you're going to have to play the Halloween race. And obviously you have until uh, the end of the Halloween event in order to be able to play that race. So you have until November 3rd to be able to get your nice vampire bat. So I don't really have any tips other than uh, maybe going early in the morning to make sure that there's not people that are going to grief you at the start of the race. Uh, throughout the race, there's a few places where you can easily uh, go to maximum speed without losing uh, too much control. Although once in a while, the there is a, a, a jolt in the control. I'm not sure how to properly explain it. Uh, so sometimes the bat will, will react uh, in a weird way or, or will go in the in a direction you didn't really mean to. It happens once in a while. Uh, you have to be able to compensate for that uh, sometimes. But uh, if you play the race uh, often enough, you should be able to, to make up for that. And uh, don't worry, I, I if you mess up, it happens. I messed up quite a bit. Like this is uh, the tricky part for me. But it took me quite a few tries to I, uh, get around to understanding how to, to go up uh, that way with the bat. And uh, if you if you see my uh, Halloween video, you'll see that the, the first time I played uh, this race, I, I did terrible. So don't worry, if you have a hard time with the race, uh, practice will uh, pretty much improve your chances of uh, com of getting the Platinum achievement. And I played the race uh, quite a bit. I did not uh, replay the race. Uh, I wouldn't suggest people to replay the race. And you can you can re redo the race without using replay badges. Uh, it doesn't matter if you if you unlock the race with the uh, replay badges. You can replay the race anytime you like, and get uh, the platinum achievement. But uh, what I did is that uh, I have a lot of characters. I played the Halloween event with uh, a whole bunch of my characters because I wanted to purchase a whole bunch of stuff from the Halloween vendor. And at the same time, I ended up uh, playing the race quite a lot. So there we go. And there's a few feats also that comes with uh, completing the race if you complete the Platinum Achievement in addition to getting the three Vampire Bats.